Matt Murphy here with Dave Cohn. We've been chatting about improvements, productivity improvements, things that make people more productive by reducing repetitive steps and tasks. Dynamic input. Oh, there's another one. Perfect example of people. This one's a little harder to miss than, say, object snap tracking, because if you've got dynamic input turned on, you see those fields. But most people don't experiment with them. They don't realize, for example, that you can press the tab key to toggle between X and Y input so that you could very quickly enter the X coordinate or X dimension and the Y dimension rather than having to go to the command line and type, you know, at 3, 7. They can just tab between the fields. And what happens now is they get the input directly up on the screen. Yeah. Show us how it's done. Sure. When you create a line segment, AutoCAD displays command prompts in the command window. But there's a drawing aid that you can use to display command prompts directly alongside your cursor so that you don't have to keep taking your eyes off the drawing and constantly referring to the command window. This drawing aid is called Dynamic Input. You can toggle Dynamic Input on by clicking the Dynamic Input button on the status bar. With dynamic input toggled on, AutoCAD will now prompt directly alongside the cursor for any commands and options of commands. If I click the line tool in the draw panel of the home ribbon tab, notice that now with dynamic input turned on, AutoCAD prompts me directly alongside the cursor. The prompt is exactly the same as what's displayed in the command window. Specify first point. I'll click in the drawing to specify the first point. Notice that as soon as I do, AutoCAD prompts me to specify the next point. Again, with dynamic input turned on, the prompt now appears both in the command window and next to my cursor. When I pick the next point, the prompt repeats again both in the command window and next to my cursor. And just like in the command window, the prompt shows the word OR. But notice that after the word OR in the dynamic input, there's a little down arrow. If I press the down arrow on the keyboard, I can see the same two options, close and undo, that display inside the square brackets in the command window. I can then choose one of these options by clicking on the option or by pressing the up or down arrow key on the keyboard and then pressing enter. So just as I can enter the undo option at the command line, I can choose the undo option using dynamic input to remove the line segment that I just created. Or I can choose the close option using dynamic input to create a final line segment from the end point of the last segment I created back to the very first point I specified when I started the line command. When I choose the close option, the command ends. I can tell that the command has ended because not only does AutoCAD display the word command in the command window, but there's no longer a dynamic input prompt adjacent to my cursor.